Welcome to a sunny day in England. We've come outside to do a video on the new mud guzzler, which is the MG500, uh, the Mark III version. We've been constantly developing these. Um, so what we're gonna take this opportunity to have a look around those new developments and the new features. The trailer itself, very robust, very agricultural, very strong, which perfectly sits with the drilling industry. It's a quite a unique trailer because it's very small, but has a triaxle. That's to spread the weight, tows much better, and just better distribution of the, of the weight on the unit. Really good trailers, should be trouble free. And of course, if you want to fork the units off, then you've still got a perfectly good trailer to transport other stuff. You've got two jacking legs at the front, the drop down and two fold down ones at the back um, that, um, Basically, when you fill the tank up, which is a V-shaped tank that is 3,000 litres, which is 800 um, gallons, um, that's gonna add three tonne of weight extra to the unit. Transport, you have some brackets that bolt onto the shaker here, um, just an L bracket that keep the shaker in position for transit. The biggest change on our latest mud guzzler is the shaker. We've gone for a much larger shaker. It's five and a half foot long, four foot wide, which gives a two meter square area. Massive, massive shaker. We've also, what you'll notice that is that it's a single deck shaker. We've gone away from the double deck where you put your sand cones would go onto your top deck and your primary would go to your bottom deck. Well, what we've done is we've incorporated the two so that the it's a large enough shaker that it can deal with all of that in one go with a fine enough mesh and we actually run um, a slightly bigger mesh on the back screen and the front two screens are a finer mesh. We've gone on a slimming diet on the unit and we've uh, shortened the sides, made it lighter and in fact we've reduced the overall weight of these units down to 3,360 kilos. You'll notice that there's Four cones on the shaker now instead of three. We've increased that capacity to meet the uh, increased capacity of the shaker. Another point to notice on the cones is if you look at the, uh, the way they're connected to the pipework, we've now put them onto quick release. So you can literally just grab, pull them around and take them off. There are boxes on the end of the cone that is to control the spray coming out of it and direct it onto the shaker screens. This pressure gauge here is for the submersible pump um, and the back pressure that's going through the cones. Um, we've got, you can see the two red marks we've marked on here, that's your operating window. This pump generates right at the top of that, so it's got good pressure at three bar of back pressure, um, meaning the cones operate very effectively. Once it's been processed and you're pulling back, you've got your out. So that goes back to your mud pump on your rig. Centrifugal pumps are a pain to prime, um, so it's being nice being able to pump back to them and prime those from your system. What we do for that is we utilize the pump that's for the cones and we sit, simply divert it. We open this valve up here and what it does is pump, instead of it going to the cones, it pumps out and force feeds back to the rig. As soon as you've primed your pumps and they're good, you shut that back off and you get your pressure back in your uh, cones and they'll start processing. You'll notice on the pipe work, it also tees off and goes right. This is for the Venturi mud mixing hopper. Um, this is just storage up here. So you simply unclip and then you clip it on down here um, and the Venturi hopper is good to go. Um, to, to activate it, again, you steal the uh, pressure from the pump inside the tank that goes to the cones, open the valve and that shoots through here. The Venturi is created here um, which is reduces down to one inch, goes through here and creates suction. You can pour your bags in here and it will suck that dry powder in, mix it with the drilling fluids, deliver it up here and dumps it in the tank. Yeah. Okay, the shaker has an adjustable angle of 10 degrees down, six degrees up. Um, so there's a 16 degree range. What we've done is made a very simple system that it's actually on a seesaw. So you're on pins, you literally pull the pins out and you can wind down that, and what it does is tip that seesaw until you're into a different position, put the pins back in, job done. 
The shaker motors are increased in size because obviously it's a bigger shaker, so we need to have a bit more energy. They are 1.2 kilowatt motors. These motors are used widely in the oil and gas industry. Their increased capacity is over the previous models. It's just purely for the large shaker. We've got a special tool here. It is on a ratchet. So to get out the, to change the shaker screen, that ratchet slots over that um, little knob that sticks out and you ratchet onto the, onto the wedges, which cranks it out and makes easy removal of the wedges and also tightens them up so that they stay in. Okay, so this is for filling up. You can do it from that angle, this angle, you can put it over there, wherever suits your site location. Loads of open space here. You can store screens. You've got a extra capacity of about 150 kilos worth of stuff that until you're at the max of the trailer. All the electrics are done in country of the country that we are supplying the unit to. So this is UK spec electronics and it's very simplified. Cone pump, pump for the cones. Green, go. Red, stop, that's it. Shaker, green, go. Red, stop. These generators, very quiet, very good on fuel. It'll last all day on its tank without filling it up. This is only a 22 kVA generator and the power consumption of the entire unit is 13.4 kilowatts to run this. So it's very efficient. This is gonna last you a long time, but two years time, you might wanna track mount it. So what we've done is we can see crawler tracks and another feed pump. You have the capacity to put a electric hydraulic power pack, which is designed to slot in this V here. That will give you the hydraulics to run your tracks. All the controls will be on there and the jacking legs. So you have four jacking legs on all corners and this will go onto a tracked carrier. Um, and we put another pump. So you can see here, there's the sump for the cones. And this is the sump, this is a, currently it's a spare sump, but it means you can fit another pump in there that will permanently pump back to the rig. So you, like I used the, that, shared that pump to prime, the rig, um, this one here will be a permanent feed, so you can supercharge your centrifugal pump. So we've tried to future-proof these. If you want to upgrade a later date, you don't have to sell this unit. You don't have to make modifications to this unit. It's a very simple change to track mount it. The MG500 Mark III version.